Sheen Show. Yeah, boy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be looking at the unusual knuckles and how to upgrade them to a much better version that deals cold damage. They're called, I think, Toki Bakasit, which is quite difficult to say and are really only available in the late game. But they're pretty unique and may be helpful to you at some point, so here's how to get them. Head over to Caldera and find your way to the Vigil Pylon. This is the giant green crystal that seems to have some sort of monster inside. Once you get there, slide down the hill to your left and find your way up some stairs near the lava. On top of these stairs, you will find some locked iron bars. Simply walk over to the other building behind this one and pull the lever at the top. Now you can walk back over to the previously locked gate and grab the unusual knuckles from what seems like a poor soul that got locked in here. These unusual knuckles are pretty good starter weapons because they deal a nice amount of physical damage and swing with a faster attack speed than some other fist weapons. But we still need to upgrade them. To do this, you should finish your faction quest and head to the inn over in Berg to get a letter for the Three Brothers DLC quest. Following the first part of that quest will open up new and old Sirocco and let you trade in samples for materials. Samples are sources in Caldera that must be mined with a pickaxe or fishing harpoon and they can be traded to one of the members of New Sirocco. You can find the samples before starting this quest, but you will not be able to turn them in and get the materials we need. So make sure you wait till late game content to get these upgraded. Here's the thing. It is actually possible to upgrade these before that. You'll need chromium shards and bloodroot. That's pretty much it. But I believe the only way to get either of these without the samples is to kill a Scarlet Emissary. Unfortunately, the drop rate for both is quite low and Scarlet Emissaries are considered possibly the hardest mob to defeat in Outward. They're on par with some of the bosses and will probably one-shot you if you're wearing low resistance armor. So while it is possible to get these materials... It would be so much easier to farm samples later on in the game as the drop rates for those specific samples are much higher that way and 10 times easier to acquire. Once you eventually do get these chromium shards and bloodroot, simply combine them with the unusual knuckles in your crafting section and you will get what I think is called Tokibakasit. They deal a lot of cold and physical damage while also inflicting slowdown and chill on the enemy. Basically, they slow the enemy by 25% and weaken them to cold damage by 25%. Pretty strong knuckles that pack a punch against many enemy types. Here's where you have to be careful though. They actually decrease your fire resistance by 20%, which means you take more fire damage. So while they're great against fire enemies, you do need to be careful as they make you a lot weaker. The reason this matters very little most of the time is because Knuckles knock down enemies so fast you'll hopefully not get hit. But as you can see, if you do get hit, it hurts a lot. Oh, and these also lower the player's temperature by around 14 degrees, which could come in handy while walking around hot regions. Consider carrying them around to help with the heat maybe, and you don't even need to use them as a weapon. Very interesting stats on this thing. As far as the weapon itself, it's pretty strong. You could use these in some interesting ways, and they certainly are there if you need them. Just wait until sampling from New Sirocco becomes available and you will be able to make these without putting in too much effort. They hit hard and can become a powerful tool if you use them correctly. 
Don't be afraid of that lower fire resistance as there are some things you can do to mostly fix it and be creative in what you pair these with. Very cool weapon to find and upgrade and there you have another one of those cool Caldera weapons. Thanks for watching the video guys and consider leaving a like if you enjoyed what you saw. I'll catch you in the next one.